Hey guys, welcome back to Railhead Ranch. Today, something a little bit different. We're gonna talk about tractors, specifically the John Deere 4105. We've had it about a year. Just wanna share my experience with you in the event you're looking for something similar. Stick around. The John Deere 4105. Uh, it's a great little utility tractor. You can see here we have it equipped with a front end loader and we have all kinds of attachments for that. The, um, the bucket, the hay spear, uh, I've got the pallet forks and I think I use the pallet forks probably more than anything else. Here in the back, you've got your category one three point hitch with your six foot box blade. This thing comes in very handy. I also have a brush hog. What else do we have? And I think that's about it. I drag all kinds of stuff behind this though. We, we have a, a chain drag, chain harrow for the pasture too to break up manure, uh, stuff like that. So why did we choose the John Deere 4105? When we first bought this place, um, I've got experience living and working on a ranch. And I know you don't wanna try living and working on a ranch, especially one this size without a tractor. But uh, so we, we bought this place, the ranch, about a year ago. And in the first month I had to buy all kinds of stuff, which would include the UTV because that's another invaluable tool, especially when you're looking for animals or hauling things around, what have you. Uh, the tractor was a must have, you know, everything you need things to fix fences, the cattle working system because our cattle were severely neglected and needed some love. And uh, so I went, I wanted to be as economic as possible. And I think that's where I went wrong. Um, buy cheap, buy twice. Every category in life, remember that. Buy cheap, you buy twice. So um, not that anything John Deere is cheap, but I, uh, I wanted a utility tractor because I thought, okay, I don't need anything super big. 40, 40 horsepower would certainly take care of us. Well, um, and I think it might, you know, but it, you know, this particular model, this um, 40 horsepower series, uh, the guy John Deere said, I cannot get hydraulics for the back on this particular utility tractor which hydraulics for the back come in handy if you want a big mower, anything that runs hydraulics. And I thought, okay, no big deal. Well, you know, after you have a few 10 acre pastures that you brush hog with a six foot brush hog, I mean, it takes all day. You know, that six foot mower, it, it's time intensive. So I, I think we need something a little bit bigger. But let's get back to this John Deere. Here you see, you can lift the hood over here the uh, grill guard goes down, the hood goes up, loader is absolutely invaluable, and you can take that off. So if you're just running a little mower, you can pop this off and pop it back on. We'll take a time out for the train. Loader's key, definitely need a loader. If you've got a farm or a ranch, that's a must have. Don't buy a tractor without a loader. Here, we've got our parking brake, foot brake. This is a hydrostatic transmission, so really there are no gears except for high and low. And we'll walk around to this other side. And you know, when, you, when you're doing a lot of loader work or you're doing a lot of moving back and forth, moving hay around, stuff like that, these things are great. 
So that's your forward pedal, that's your reverse pedal. So you just push on that, push on that to go whichever way you want. Um, and it's all hydraulic, it's great. Here's our loader handle. Let's take a look at the driver's view from the driver's seat. So you have to forgive me. This thing's a little bit dusty. It's been in the barn and I, I haven't washed it in a few weeks. But uh, here's a nice easy readout. You've got your tack in the middle, your temperature on the right, your fuel on the left, turn signals, four wheel drive, lights, PTO, throttle, and over here you have your um, hitch control for your three point. You know, you can raise it and lower accordingly. Key. And they, uh, you know, they, John Deere did a pretty good job making this tractor for someone who's going to use it and making it user friendly. There is a diff lock right here to lock that rear differential. If you find yourself in a, in a place where you need a little more traction, and uh, here in Texas, you know, it's dry 99% of the time, but that 1% of the time, when it gets muddy and you find yourself in an uh -oh situation, you don't want to stick a tractor. And that, uh, that diff lock is very, very helpful in keeping it moving. You have your seat adjustment right here. Again, your high and low gear switch. Trusty seat belt, because we always wear seat belts when we're riding tractors, right? Oh man, I don't think this thing even works. That has probably never come out of the sheath. That is brand new. Look at that. That's funny. <laughs> so one aftermarket item that I put on my tractor is that little guy right there. Sawhall. Check them out. Sawhall.com. That is, uh, and they're not paying us. There's, I didn't get that for free. I bought it. I use it like crazy. You stick your chainsaw on the top. It's the best way to haul your chainsaw around because anywhere your tractor goes, you're probably taking a chainsaw as well. Especially if your place is like mine and like your fence lines haven't been maintained in 25 years. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit more about what we like and what we don't like. All right. So things I love about the John Deere 4105. Extremely fuel efficient. I, I, I don't know, maybe it takes six gallons of fuel. I'll, I'll write some of the specs across the bottom as I, as I work through the things I like and I don't like. The uh, fuel economy is definitely a plus. On the negative side, that fuel cap is in front of the steering wheel up on top. So you gotta climb up on top to fuel it from the top on top of the engine. That's a little bit of a pain. I'd much like that on the side like a lot of the bigger tractors. Things I like, that loader um, is surprisingly strong for a, a utility tractor, a 40 horsepower utility tractor. Things I don't like, the tractor is a little light to handle the strength of the loader. So what do I mean by that? My, uh, my tires are not filled and unless I've got a pretty serious counterweight, it can be a challenge uh, moving hay. I'm not going to unload a trailer um, with this thing and with hay up high. Ain't going to happen unless I fill those tires with antifreeze and water to give me a serious ballast on the back. Even then, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty small tractor with a pretty tight wheelbase. But the, uh, the loader is surprisingly strong. More things I like. Um, the swapping out the attachments on the front it's john deere does a pretty good job with this little pen system you hook everything here lift the loader and it, it pops through you know this hole right here your attachments do and you just stick that little pen in and you're good to go things i don't like they're a little like apple and that they want only their stuff to work on their stuff. And if you upgrade, you're gonna to have to upgrade all of your front end attachments as well. So, and, and the guy at the dealership said, don't worry though, if you, you go up to a you know 50E series or a 60 series, you know, there's an adapter plate. I said, well, how much is that? I don't know, about a thousand bucks. You know, John Deere does that. You know, there's everything's a thousand here, a thousand there. Um, I'm personally a fan of the skid steer quick attach where you can use everything from a skid steer on your tractor and swap it out with other, other utility vehicles. But, um, you know, this is not equipped with that. 
this is easy to use and if you're a john deere guy and you want to stick with john deere and you like everything green it's really easy to use so that's a that's a, a plus for sure back to another negative and a positive the positive the short wheelbase, it'll go over anything. Um, it's great. I go over I go over, and I go through all kinds of crazy stuff. The negative of that is it is a short wheelbase, and it's a little sketchy, so you don't want to be on... you um, If you're lifting something or if you're going over things, you just don't have as much stability as you would on a wider, longer tractor. Another plus. Generally speaking, and again, generally speaking, John Deere dealers do a really good job with service and with um, anytime you need to buy, sell, or trade. They take care of you. So the dealer experience with most John Deere dealers is positive, especially if you're in a pinch. You know, it's, it's hay season and your tractor's down. You're not doing hay on this tractor, no hydraulics. Again, that's a negative, but you know, you know that getting into it. Um, I think what it comes down to is uh i think the tractor's good for what it can do um very good if we had a smaller place i this is all i would need it's all i would want but the reality is i needed a little bit more tractor than i bought and that's caused some frustration at times but that's not that's on me it's not on the tractor would i buy this again yes would i buy it for this property no uh definitely need something a little bigger also things i don't like no cab I don't think they make a cab on a 40 series. You know what? I bet they do. John Deere makes everything. You just have to pay for it. But uh, out here, a cab is invaluable. You know, when it's uh, 105 degrees and you've got to mow your entire place and you've got one or two days free to do it, man, that cab is way better than this thing. And this fixed seat, I mean, it will rock your world after a little while. I like an air ride seat, personally. And um, I also like AC. Again, in a cab tractor. John Deere makes cab tractors. They're very expensive and they're very... Sorry about that, the camera got a little hot. Yeah, we're getting some of this beautiful water from the sky, but it is still hotter than blazes out here. I think it's um, 98, 99, super humid. Feels like a cold front, but it's not. Too hot for the camera, apparently. So, back to the tractor. I like, I need a cab tractor out here. This isn't a cab tractor, but this is great for its purpose and for someone that needs a utility tractor do i recommend the john deere 4105 yes yes i do without reservation so uh let's take this for a spin go grab some hay and you can see it in action since we do have a hydraulic drive system i normally i normally run it up about 2000 rpms Again, your uh, three-point hitch control. Motor. And back to that hydrostatic I was telling you about. So between the hydrostatic transmission and just that easy, fast-moving loader, you can get a lot of things done with this little guy. I mean, doing loader work with that hydrostatic transmission is just awesome. Another positive. This thing being a little bit more narrow and a little shorter and not as tall as other tractors, it'll go a lot of places. 
So if your place is a little overgrown and needs a little work. You know, it, it's a, it's a, definitely a benefit. A big cab tractor can't necessarily fit in all these places. So for me, ideally, keep this and add something larger, but economically, that's not an option, unfortunately. Try not to turn around in the hay corral with hay on the front. It's pretty narrow. You find yourself in a sketchy situation. Woo. Yep, almost. Yeah, see, those are tires in the air. I think that could be fixed probably with a little ballast. You can see that back end of the tractor lifted up just a little bit. And I know that box blade is down, um, but that's a, it's just a little sketchy. So it's really hot, too hot for the camera to operate. It keeps shutting off. But um, so in summary, John Deere 4105, do it again, yes. Um, if I could keep it and have a bigger tractor, probably would. Have it put away for the evening. And it's a good, reliable machine. I know it will be ready for me tomorrow.